Hey guys, thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching my first ever video, I really appreciate it. Um, I did sort of a red and orange smoky look today with a hint of gold. I um, tried to keep it really daytime for you guys, so if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, I'm really sorry, I'll try and make it better next time, it's only my first one. Um, so if you like it, keep on watching and enjoy! Thanks guys! <laughs> okay, so first of all, to prep the skin. I use Murad Oil Control Mattifier. It's really good because I have a really oily T-zone and it's just the like the most annoying thing in the whole world. So I mean, I focus it mainly on my like nose area, my forehead, but then because it's also a moisturizer, it's nice to like bring it down the rest of the face. First of all, what I'm gonna do is put concealer and let that set whilst doing my eyes so that, you know, when it comes to, to putting the foundation on that concealer, it's like part of my skin. I'm using the MAC NC15 Studio Finish. Leave that to settle. And then whilst that's brewing on my face, I'm gonna use the Eraser Eye from Maybelline. Okay, so I just basically, I put this under my eye while I'm doing my makeup to let it sort of set. Then we're gonna move on to the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Um, it has so many great shades that like, I can't even tell you about. This one I use, I'm gonna use now, this one's called Heaven and it's the day look. Um, but I basically use it to set my eyeshadow um, primer and also just lighten my entire eye. So I'm just gonna put that all over. This is Next we're gonna go into our Honey Butter, which is this shade here. And we're just gonna put that all over our MAC 224 brush. This is basically a transition color, it's really great. It just breaks up the harsh colors that you're gonna put on your lid and blends it up into your crease. Uh, this is called Lotus and it's a blush from Lord & Berry. And again, I'm gonna use the same 224 brush. And I'm just gonna blend into the crease again. Blend that in. And again, the same on this side. I'm just gonna blend. So just gonna get that pinky red going, but it's quite like a subtle pinky red, so it's quite nice. Okay. So uh, it's called Rule, and it's really cool. It's like a really nice orange. We're gonna get that again on the Sephora 60 brush, which is just this the powder brush, and then I'm just gonna apply that to the whole lid. So now we're gonna go like a bit darker. And I'm gonna go in with Swiss Chocolate by MAC. Which is this color here. And again, ooh, I got in with the zooming sooner that time, yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to go in with the 224 brush again. I'm a very strong believer in when you buy an expensive brush like this, you should be able to use it for every single color. So before I start, I'll just brush it off my finger to get any extra from the previous color off. And then we will just begin the fun. This color is so fun. So it's called Gold Mine by MAC. I'm gonna apply this with my fingers because I think, yeah, brushes are great, but it does not get the same amount of coverage as you will get on your finger. And that is what we're looking for. So we're just gonna apply it literally to the corner of our eye here. I'm gonna use NARS in Mont Blanc Light 2 because I am a pale girl and I will embrace that. I'll embrace that. And I'm gonna use um, the Real Techniques uh, Expert Face Brush, which is like this, uh, to apply it. This one is actually clean. I'm not gonna show you the one that I used earlier because that one's not clean. I'm just gonna put like a couple pumps on my hands and then I'm just gonna We're gonna go up here and it just basically cleans up the area that we got loads of um, eyeshadow on. Okay, so then I'm gonna move on to my NARS concealer. It's the Radiant C Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. 
we're still on that light two stage. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin. Do a bit on my forehead. Yeah, it's like a sort of like a V. I don't even know if you can see because it's pretty much the same color as on my foundation, which was a mistake. And then we're gonna do like a triangular state down here. Move it up. Then I'm gonna leave this again to sort of like simmer while I do my eyebrows. So what I'm gonna use next is a clear eyebrow um, mascara, gel, gel. Just apply the gel, I apply it in like an upwards motion like that on my hairs and then I bring it round and I sort of just brush it down like this. So then we get our palette, so I'm gonna use my soft ochre, and I'm using a, sorry, I'm using another brush from that collection. I'm just gonna, I always go along the top first, get this, this sort of, what I want. I can't even speak when doing this because it requires so much concentration. And I just sort of bring it down. So just gonna do the same again over here. <sighs> Moving on to another clean brush. I'm picking these out really carefully because there are some totally different brushes down there. Like I'm not even gonna, we're not even gonna talk about this one, okay? We're not gonna talk about it. Again, this is another Real Tex Technique brush. It is called the Sculpting Brush, and it is going to sculpt our face. So I'm just going to blend it. Then, so once that's blended out, I am on it with the setting powder. This stuff, this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, is honestly God in a little pot. Anyway, so I will just get this. This is what I mean, like, this is gross. <laughs> But let's not judge it. You can use a beauty blender. You can literally use whatever you want. Um, I just really like this setting brush by um, Real Techniques. I think it's great. So I'm just going to get this in here. And then I'm going to put it on my chin. Just anywhere where we've, you've put concealer, basically. Put it up. Okay. So now that we've done our foundation, our concealer, our powders, we're gonna move on to bronzing our face. I'm gonna use Matte Prep and Prime uh, in dark. I'm just gonna circle this in here, like this. Round, round, baby. <laughs> um, and put the excess on my hand. And then I'm just basically gonna use this to sculpt out my face a bit because I don't have particularly amazing cheekbones. So we're gonna we're gonna go in. So now you can literally already see that it gives you that little bit of definition. I'm just gonna finish off under the eyes now because if we do get any more any drop down, then at least we can fix it now. Again, I'm going into this very little brush um, that came with that set. Uh, that you can't you can't really see but it is really really cute and tiny um and fab i'm gonna go in with the orange color and then i'm just gonna put it underneath my eye here okay now we're gonna finish off the face it's, uh it's basically it's meant to be a face powder but i'm i'm pale so I use it as a bronzer um, it was what was recommended to me by Chanel and honestly it's so nice it's really versatile because it's something you can build up um, I am a big fan of this so I'm gonna use the same did we say 168 brush I'm just gonna bronze out and then I'm also gonna bring it down my neck because I am quite clearly not actually this color naturally And that's it for bronzing. It's like, it's subtle, but you can see it there, you know, it just brings that actual little 
Then I'm going to go in with a MAC blusher. It's called Warm Soul. Ah, isn't that so cute? I like that. I've never actually looked at that. Um, I didn't use blusher for like a really long time and honestly I think it makes such a difference. It honestly brings so much more light to your face. Makes you awake, makes you look happy, makes you look like you enjoy your life. So we're going to get the blusher and I literally am just going to put it along my cheekbone. So. Same brush and we've got our highlighter and I'm just literally I'm going to put it on my cheekbones and up here as well. I'm then going to go in with a Real Techniques shading brush. As you can see, it's little. Oh, don't we just love the little ones? And then I use this basically on my eyebrow here. It's more fun. I'm also going to put up my Cupid's bow here. I just feel like this adds like a little bit extra shine. And then a little bit on my nose. Then we're going to go in with mascara. This is MAC. Really unhelpfully doesn't say what it is. And I'm just going to obviously apply that to my lashes. I then have a totally different mascara for my bottom lashes, which might seem a bit ridiculous, but I have I have theory behind this. So this is MAC Extended Play Lash. It's like this cute little blue one. And the brush is like really tiny and like sweet. And the thing is, I find that because it's a smaller brush, it latches onto your bottom lashes more than you would if you'd use the bigger lash. And then I find I get all this smudge underneath and then it's just like it's the end of the world. So if I use this, I don't get the same smudge underneath and I'm, I'm a happier person for it. So, so I'm just going to apply this to my bottom lashes. So to finish it off today, I'm going to put uh, liner and some lipstick on. I'm going to use um, Chicory by MAC. Uh, which is just their normal lip pencil and then I'm going to pair it with mocha. Um, I overline my lips, that's just a personal thing, you don't have to do that. But if you are going to overline and you're not sure how, brush hair. Um, my top tip would be to start always with the top and to do, get your cupid's bow right. And what you want to always make sure you do is if you're going to overline your lips, overline the cupid's bow and then bring it back down to match into your original lip. Does that make sense? I don't know. Gonna... We're just going to put on our mocha by MAC. And now that we finished the lipstick, our look is done. I hope you like this look, guys, and I hope you really enjoyed watching my first YouTube video. Sorry it's a bit all over the place, but hopefully you will come back to watch another one again. And hopefully next time it'll be a bit smoother. A MAC 224 book. What? My MAC 224 book. Brush. So my friends always make fun of me because when I sit and do my makeup, I always have a hand out like this. I'm like, sassy. Hey guys, thank. Hey guys, hey guys. Uh, if you want to see this sort of red, yellow, orange, smoky look, I've just basically listed the rainbow to you. Then keep watching. I love how there's no music, but I'm gonna keep going.